up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be looking at a champion that so many people have slept on they completely shut down wukong and we all know wukong is one of the most annoying champions in raid right now he is dominating live arena and it's time to shut him down with this champion and this champion also completely destroys the revive meta uh, you know, in live arena, most of the time, there is going to be a revive champion on the enemy team. And this guy just completely shuts it down. I just want to say a big shout out to Shards of Glory. Great name, by the way, who pointed this champion out to me with a comment on one of my videos. And it is Basatha. Sorry, Basath. I mean, it's a it's a terrible name great champion so i think one of the reasons is that when he was originally released a lot of people just thought you know by the time you get him you will have better champions and it's kind of true however and also i guess with the stone skin meta as well i guess a lot of his abilities would have not really been that strong however because of changes in the meta and stuff um he can just like well let's just look at his passive to begin with so whenever an enemy is revived, has a 100% chance when fully booked of placing stun debuff on them for one turn. This effect cannot be resisted or blocked. That is huge. Wukong, you're just going to constantly shut him down. And it's in a one turn cooldown as well. So you're constantly going to be shutting down Wukong. And with this as well, one thing you do want is you want to be fast. Um, because otherwise, say you kill Wukong, he comes back in three turns this skill won't be up, so you won't get that block revive. So that's important. So you need to make sure you're fast with him. Uh, but yeah, and then again, like Pytheon, Duchess, all those AoE revive champions. Anyone that's going to get revived is getting locked down. So A3, attacks of enemies, has a 100% chance of placing stun debuff for one turn. There are not that many champions that have an AoE stun ability, and it's a 100% chance. Um, but also, we are going to push back the enemy's turn meter by 30% as well. I mean, it's so already, this is a strong kit. So A2 places strength and buff and continuous heal on allies. I mean, for two turns, that is great as well. So we're getting healing, we're getting protection. And if we're under fear, true fear, freeze, provoke, sleep or stun, we're also getting a shield. I mean, this guy is doing a lot. Uh, A1 as well, so, um, you know, attacks one enemy has a 40% chance, 60% chance when fully booked, of placing the big boy version of decrease attack for two turns. Decrease attack is a really good buff. I think a lot of people forget about it. You know, it can really make a new cut, like, just hit, like, nothing. So, yeah, again, so important. Um, so I just want to point out as well, you can see I don't have it fully booked. This guy needs a lot of books. He's a book hungry. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of books. So I'd prioritize the A3 and the uh, passive. I mean, you can also put books in here as well, because again, just the to reduce the cooldown on this as well is huge. Um, but yeah, um, great, great champion. And if I could do, if I had like, um, if he was awakened, 100% we'd be going for Polymorph just to give him a bit more CC as well. So the way the team you want to build around him for arena would be you want to be going first because you need to kill the enemy. So ideally like an arbiter, like a fast champion first. Then we're going to bring in like a stripper, like Uko, someone like that, just to strip them. Then Basath can come in, you know, stun them, push back their 10 meters, and then our Nuka can come in and just shut them down. So, um, yeah, let's do some live arena. Then I'll show you the build and masteries. And, yeah, seriously, guys, do not sleep on this guy. All right, guys, so we managed to find one of the most annoying combos, Ulmer Death Knight and Wukong. And, yeah, you just see it all the time. So let's get Uko. Let's get Basath. And Uko, I think we missed. There's Uko. So get ready. Like, seriously. I'm hoping their Wu, uh, their their uh, Ultimate Death Knight's pretty well built. Yes, he's in Stone Skin, 
And that means we can just completely shut them down. I, I don't want to strip because I want you guys to see. Um, I want to. I want you to see this in action. And we even took out their Mithrala, which is just crazy. Um, I mean, we shouldn't really be able to do that. But now it's just a case of waiting for Wukong. He's revived. And again, he's just locked out. And then let's use uh, Leores with his double hit on the A1. All right, we're going to try and skip. Uh, skip. Scr <laughs> we're going to try and strip. Oh, we're definitely like, we got lucky there. Let's bring in some heals for the squad. And again, he's just locked out. And we can do this all day long. Let's just whack it in auto. But yeah, we can do this all day long. And yeah, it's just insane. Um, you know, and I'll show you against like, I'll try and find like a revive team and just just smash them. But yeah, like this guy is great. People really are sleeping on him. Um, and yeah, people need to use him more. Because again, look, four times in a row, Wukong Woohoo. Okay, this is a strong looking team. 459k team power. I mean, yeah, let's give it a go. And I've brought in Yakao as well. Again, another underrated champion who's actually one of my faves for raid right now. Boost that turn meter. I'm going to chuck out the freezes. Wow. We landed them across the board. Okay. Let, let's put on some heals and um, strengthen. See if we can drop anyone. Not quite. Okay. Push back CFE. No. Resisted. Oh. Damn. I was not expecting Harima to, to, to do us like that. Okay. Let's get a revive in. Boost that turn meter again. Now, I don't want to... I feel like I could kill their team quite easily, but I don't want to do that. Uh, let's take out Duchess. Pow! Oh, wow. She survived. Okay, there goes your Carl. Let's try and... just remove things a little bit. And we're still going strong. And I think we're going to have to use Leoris's A2. Yeah, this is getting a bit too close for comfort. Pow! Sit down. Okay, so we're not out of the woods just yet. And I think Leoris is going to clutch it for us with that beautiful A1. Oh, sit down, my friend. Sit down. Okay, so we can see, we've seen what he can do. Let's look at the build. So I've gone with um, stone skin and a little bit of protection gear as well. Personally, I feel that if you can, really, you should just build him in triple speed. But I'm low on my speed gear, so that's why I went with stone skin. And I guess with stone skin as well, it also gives you protection just in case the enemy team is faster. We've at least got one turn of protection, but yeah. I mean, triple perception, triple speed would be the other way to go. And if you can be naughty like me and sneak in, um, you know, three pieces of protection gear, then definitely go for it. So substats that we're looking for is literally just speed and accuracy. We've got HP on the gloves, um, accuracy on the chest piece. And that is a nice, nice chest piece. Uh, speed boots with accuracy. So again, this is an attack ring. Ideally, it would be HP or defense, but we used it to get that extra speed from the protection set. Uh, then we've got a HP um, amulet, again, with accuracy on it. And we do have a little bit of resistance on it as well, which is nice. Uh, and then, unfortunately, only one roll in speed, but it is a six-star banner. So total stats, we got 63k HP, um, 3.1k defense, that's a decent amount of uh, defense. 266 speed. Ideally, I really think if you really want to play him at like the like higher up in arena, you want to be aiming for at least sort of 300 just so you can get those turns in and to make sure that your passive is never on cooldown. We've got 300 resistance, which I wasn't really aiming for, but 
Um, you know, stone skin and protection will do that. So it's nice to have that resistance. So we are, again, a little bit more protected. A little bit overkill on the accuracy. Like, you know, you could go for like 600 accuracy, but I feel that, you know, Duchess and Pytheon and people like that, they are going to have such high resistance that is it really worth worth it? This is more about locking out their, you know, their strippers, their support champions, their debuffers, their nukers. That's who we want to be locking out. And 400 is more than enough to do that. So, yeah, we've looked at skills. We've looked at the gear. Let's check out the mastery. So um, very, very specific masteries for him. So we've gone for accuracy. Then we've gone for more accuracy. And arcane, celeritary, and rapid response are great for him because we're throwing out debuffs, we're throwing out buffs. So we've got a good chance to increase our turn meter. Bringing in Evil as well to just push back turn meter even further. Um, he brings shields as well. So shield bearer is good. Uh, cycle of magic as well, just in case we can reduce the cooldown on our A3. Um, we've got sniper. I don't. Sniper, Master Hexer. Um, I guess Sniper's slightly better because it means we have a higher chance of landing that decrease attack. And we, you know, we're not gonna be able to increase the duration of stuns, so it's kind of pointless. Um, an eagle eye, of course, for that extra 50% accuracy. So we've gone for resistance, improved parry, one of the best um masteries for arena just to reduce critical hits. Uh, wisdom of battle is great as well so you know after um you know like a stun sleep fear true fear freeze or petrification debuff expires on us then we have a good chance of getting blocked debuffs on us as well can come in clutch um harvest of despair you know we're throwing out stuns all the time this is great we can land leeches on the enemy definitely the way to go and then i've decided to go for loads of counter attacks just so we've got a better chance to land that decrease attack but yeah great champion definitely worth investing in if you don't have an answer to to wukong i mean i still feel that block revive is the best answer for wukong but not everyone has that on their account so yeah struggling with wukong or the revive meta bring in basatha <laughs> i'm so sorry guys i'm sure i'm giving him a different name every time basatha Vasatha. Oh, God. Yeah, but terrible name. Great champion. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.